welcome to Forefront. My name is Anna Grace, a former teacher user of Forefront who is now Forefront's customer success specialist. Today, I'm going to give you an overview for teacher users of Forefront. Use the address app.forefront.education slash login to log in. What you first see when you log in depends on whether or not you have more than one class. If you have multiple classes, you will see this page when you log in. Select a class to see more. If you are only set up with one class, Forefront will open on that class's gradebook. As you see here, most new classes will have not assessed for most domains. However, if you are a user with historic data, use the lens view to drop back and see last year's data. The overall shows proficiency do by domain in this case, as pulled from all your assessment programs and clicking on the table allows you to dig deeper and sort data. Forefront calculates proficiency over time based on the best practices of standards-based grading. More recent assessments are weighted more heavily than older historic data. Access that body of evidence by clicking on the proficiencies per student. To enter data, click the tab of the program you would like to record data for. These are generally, by, generally organized by unit, module, or section. Click the relevant unit and you'll have access to click on particular assessments. Once you've selected the assessment, you'll be led to the spreadsheet to enter data. Once you start entering data, you'll be asked to record the date the assessment was given. By entering the date correctly, you help keep the weighting of assessments accurate. Another data collection tool Forefront offers is the interview tool. If you are using an interview assessment, the interview tool gives you access to the questions and rubrics and allows you to record notes. Filling out data in the interview tool feeds it directly into the spreadsheet for the assessment. You can record notes for any question, interview or not, by hitting the end key or accessing notes in the sidebar. Now that data is entered, it can be sorted for initial analysis and planning in the spreadsheet itself. For a deeper look, access a single assessment report where student performance can be broken down by question, standard, or overall performance. Hover or click on different parts of the graph to get more information. You can also add cohorts to compare your students' performance and get a deeper understanding of how they did. There are more advanced reports accessible under the Reports tab on the left. Check out our Help Documents, accessed by clicking on the question mark, for more information on these. To gain a deeper understanding of an individual student's current performance, click their name anywhere it is hyperlinked with blue text. This opens the Student Proficiency Wheel, a snapshot of their current understanding. I found this especially helpful for standards-based grading and parent-teacher conferences. Click on the nodes to access the body of evidence for each domain, cluster, and standard and get a clear picture of where the student is successful and where they need more support. Remember that this data is weighed to honor their most recent performance first. For reporting to families, be aware that some assessment programs have documents that can report out student scores and what the unit covers. These can be accessed in the sidebar under Documents if they are available based on your subscription plan. To learn more about Forefront's other functionality, including reports, building custom assessments and basic or premium plans, or modifying classes, access the help documents by clicking on the question mark. If you have any issues or questions you would like direct help with, you can email support at forefront.education for support. Forefront wishes you and your students a great school year.